Hello and what is going on guys, my name is Sonifon and today we are here with something a little different on the channel. Uh, we're going to do a how to video, this how to video is going to be on how to set up a Minecraft server in version 1.8.7. I know version 1.9.2 or something like that is coming out soon, but uh, if you want to actually set up a server now, then let's just get into it. Alright, so what you're going to want to do when you first uh, start off is you don't want to go to minecraft.net slash download or you can just go to minecraft.net and then log in and then there will be a download button right here on that home page and you don't want to click that and it will bring you right here so once you're on this page you don't want to go down to multiplayer server and you don't want to go to download and once you click on that it's going to be like oh for windows explorer it's going to be like oh yeah do you want to run that and you don't want to click yeah i do so then in, on firefox it's just going to be that arrow right at the top and then you don't want to you don't want to find where that thing, thing bobber is, and you don't want to bring it into a new folder. Name that folder whatever you want. We're actually just going to name that Minecraft Server. And we're now click enter. Once you enter this and you drag that in there, all this is going to pop up. We don't want to do with the first thing we want to do on here is go into the EULA. And you don't want to make sure it's in the notepad. And then you want to change the EULA to true. And then you're gonna want to click file and save and then I just want to check it just to be sure it's saved and make sure it's still true all right so then we can actually run the server yep okay thank you run anyway all right that's just gonna pop up for me even though it's minecraft I don't know why but hey one second all right oh god I don't know if you guys heard that noise but yeah so then this is gonna pop up and don't ever click this, it's just gonna mess up your server, but once you're actually on, it's gonna be fine, and then it's gonna work. So, right, you're gonna wanna click, click, you're gonna wanna type stop, and then click enter, and wait for that to close, and I'm just gonna do that, and all this should pop up. Uh, the ban IPs are just IPs that you just put in, so that it can ban the people using the IP address, and then the ban players, you just put in their name, and then the ELO we already did in world, I forgot to mention, uh, that's the actual world you will be playing on. And then the OPs, like, uh, say if I was on the server, I would want to put in my actual name, and which I am, and all that whitelist, and I don't have any idea what that does. But we're going to want to click on server, and then this is where we need to change a lot. Um, what we're going to want to change first is... Wait one sec. All right, so let me go through all this. The we're just gonna skip these two. Allow Nether. Sure, you don't want that. And resource pack is like the texture pack throughout the whole server. The world name. Uh, don't change that. So it'll be fine. And enable cure 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 blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Allow flight. Uh, we're gonna keep that false. And allow player achievements. Like announce them in the chat put true if you want and then the server default server port is always going to be that and then the max world size that's actually pretty big world size and then default is like the world type that you will be playing in like large biomes and amplified and all that and i don't know what that is uh level seed you can put in your own seed um you don't want to go through world and change that and then force game mode and then you don't want to keep that false server ip is what you don't want to do for that uh what that's our next step that we're going to go into and max build height that's like the the y and then the whitelist we're going to keep that false for me and hardcore false spawn animals true uh, online mode definitely true uh, resource pack again same thing as up there pvp true difficulty one that's like i think normal or easy and um game mode zero is okay for now and max players i'm just gonna bring this down to boom i don't even know what i'm gonna bring that down you can bring that down to as uh, much as you want but uh whatever uh don't save for me you guys that don't want to save i just messed up on something that i clicked on and then match players change that down to five yeah uh, and then spawn monsters true and then view distance 10 and that's the bottom one is your minecraft server name so anyway you don't want to do is you don't want to go to file save and then you don't want to close this out and then you don't want to go to another website called hamachi what you don't want to do here is like all you need to do is this him actually 
that's all you don't want to type in and then it should bring you to this so what you don't want to do here is click on the unmanaged download this will not harm your computer at all but then before you do that is you don't want to click here and boom so the only reason i'm not clicking on that is because i already downloaded it and it's really not so once that's all downloaded you don't want to set up an account and after you set up the account what you don't want to do is press that <laughs> you want to press the power button and that's my old thing my old server so what we're going to do is that so create it or computer so you don't want to make the like the server id like let's just put this slender funds server all right so then we have that and then i spelled server wrong but that's all good <laughs> boom and then password say one two three and then we don't want to confirm it one two three and then create so now we have that and what we don't want to do is copy the ipv4 not the ipv6 if you copy the ipv6 this will not work so you want to do that and just click on that and then we actually didn't want to go back to the server and then we don't want to click on that and then go back where it says ip the server ip and then you don't want to control v that like that and then file save that will that is the ip that everyone can join your server on and yeah pretty much that's it so then they invite people to your server you just tell them to go to network and then join existing server and then you don't want to put in the server id and the password but no one i, I have no friends <laughs> so we don't want to keep that open and then we don't want to open minecraft so i'll be right back when minecraft is fully loaded all right so now when your minecraft loads up you don't want to actually this is my old server so we're just going to delete that and delete and what you didn't want to do is you don't want to add server don't do anything with that you just don't want to put in that server address that you had from hamachi this right right here you don't want to have this the ipv4 so then you don't want to click done and it should work uh like if it doesn't work a few times you just want to keep hitting refresh so i will be right back to try to get mine working okay well, I'm a dumb. What you don't want to do is, like, close out your Minecraft real quick, and then I'll show you. Alright, truly really sorry about that, guys. I messed up. I'm just a little nervous and doing this. I don't know why. I've recorded a bunch of videos in the past, but this one, I just don't know. So, what you don't want to do is actually open up the Minecraft server. This will allow you to, it will, like, show you and allow other people to actually join your server. Wait for that to load up, and then open up your Minecraft again. <laughs> So once it loads up, it should be like, it should pop up like this. And then once someone is actually in the server, it should show this, like the names, which I'll show you in a second. All right, my apologies guys. Uh, so then what you don't want to do after you have this open right here is you don't want to see how, all right, so the server is up and working, uh, but you don't want to have this open. And this is just gonna show you everybody that your server is working. So it's gonna take a few seconds, or a minute or so for the thing to load out. And there should be those bars and how many people you actually want on your server showing up on right next to the, your server. So it should do that. And there's another problem that happens sometimes. It should, it, like it says old. What you didn't want to do is keep hitting refresh, 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 refresh. And I'm pretty sure it only says old because uh, they, I think they just updated to 1.8.8, not 1.8.7. And the servers have not been working for a little. It, they always say usually down for maintenance, and I'm in a void. Yes. <laughs> but the world should load out in a few seconds. So we can just wait and look at the sun and love the sun for a little. And I'm just a black... Okay, ow! My legs. My legs. Hello. One sec, I'm gonna let the world load out real quick. Alright, but as you can see, we are on a survival island for some weird reason, and, uh, let's just do slash seed, just maybe if anyone wants a survival island seed, if it worked, but hey, whatever. But, yeah, so that's gonna have to do it for today's video, um, if you guys have any problems with this, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to reach you, uh, but yeah, thanks so much for watching this video, and there will be an update for 1.1.9. So yeah, I'll see you guys in that video. So peace out.